Okay. Very good. Where, where is that at? Because I'm always there. Where? Oh, the, oh. Oh, that's, I don't drink very much. I drink a little, but not much. You ready? Yes, red wine. You ready yet? Okay, here we go. Did you guys finish these problems? No. No? Where's Yowzi at? Did she go return that ring? Where did she, did she leave? His stuff is there. Well, I'll ask her if she returned the ring when she gets back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You're not going to marry me, but you'll keep my ring? That's funny. The answer is no, but I'll keep your ring. NCX, P to the X, 1 minus P to the N minus X, right? Okay, this is uh, for how many, how many girls you have in here? Oh, something's weird. Um, no, you're having three girls here, right? That means there's three successes. So X is three. And what is N? N is 5. Okay. What is that little P? P is what? P of 3 is 5C3. 1 half to the third power. What's 1 minus 1 half? Not 1 half? What's 5 minus 3? Two. So what happens again here? You guys see this pattern? This is end up being um, what? One half to the fifth. Same base. Add the exponents. Three plus two is five. So what is five C three now? Ten. It's ten. Ten times one half to the fifth power. So what do you get for P of three? Ten over what? Thirty-two, which is going to be point three one two five. Okay, so that is four. Now, if Adriana was here, she would see the answer to five. The probability of at least one. Didn't we say that was what? Yeah, that's one minus the probability of none. Meaning that to answer this question, I have to know the probability of having how many successes? How many successes do you have if it's none? Uh, how many? What is none? <coughs> zero, right? So it's 1 minus p of 0. Do you guys have the answer to p of 0? What is it? It's right over here. We did that one already. Point zero. 3, 1, 2, 5. So what's, what's 1 minus 0 0.03125? Isn't that 0 0.9 what? 6? <laughs> well, use this value. What's 1 minus 0 0.03125? What's that? 875? 96875? Okay, good. That's the probability you have at least one girl. Okay? Six. What does six say? Less than what? Four. What's less than four? That's x is what? Less than four, right? So the probability you have less than four girls, x is less than four. Which outcomes are less than four? Zero, what else? One, what else? Two, what else? So if you add all those probabilities, 
all of those outcomes are less than four, didn't we, didn't we actually deduce those probabilities already? And this point zero three one two five plus what's p of one? Yeah, zero point one five six two five. P of two, where's that at? 0.3125. P of 3, what's that? Oh, it's again 0.3125, okay. So what is that final answer going to be? 0.8125? Okay. So the probability you have less than 4. Probably have less than 4 children is 0.8125. OK? You guys OK with that? That's how you'd answer these questions. What's the other situation between 1 and what? Between 1 and 3. The probability 1 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3. Which outcomes are between 1 and 3? p of 1 plus p of 2 plus p of what? 3. Are those outcomes between 1 and 3? Right? Is that true? All right. What's p of 1? What's p of 2? What's p of 3? Here it is. 0.15625. Plus 0.3125 plus 0.3125, and what do you get as an answer? What do you guys get? Point what? Seven, eight, one, two. Yeah, it's between 1 and 3. What does 8 say? No more than 2, which we deduce was x less than or equal to 2. So which outcomes are less than or equal to 2? 0, 1, and what? 2. So what is that? 0 0.03125 plus what's p of 1? 0.15625 plus what's p of 2? Point what? 3125. And what do you get when you add these values? Is it 0.5? Okay, it might be. Sounds like it might be right. Whew. All of this stuff. Okay. Now, what's question nine? Anybody know what question nine is? What was this? Did you guys do this one? The expected value or the spe expected number of girls that you would have when you have five children? Let's write this down. Okay, let's keep notes. If we have five children, What's the list of all possible?